Hey, let's take a live look at Appalachian State this morning in Boone. Beautiful campus there. You know, in just a couple of days, the Mountaineers are going to kick off the football season against UNC. But ask any App State fan and they will tell you there is no bigger game than the one played 15 years ago today. The game against Michigan became one of the biggest upsets in college football history. But for the players on the field, like Gastonia's Julian Rauch, who kicked the game winning field goal, and for the fans who made the long trip, like WBTV's David Wisnett and his son Kyle, it was more than just a game. As our Brian Stevenson found out, it was about creating memories that will last a lifetime. It's known as the Big House, a cathedral of football for Michigan fans. 109,000 faithful would pack the stands that day. You get to Ann Arbor and here's this gigantic football stadium. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. And it was overwhelming. David Wisnett and his son Kyle almost never made it to the gates of Michigan Stadium. David's mom, Kyle's grandmother, passed away a week before the game. I called dad and I was like, so are we still gonna do this? And and I think, you know, you were hesitant at first because it was it was it was tough. And sometime during that week, it just sort of hit me that no, we're gonna do this. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We have the tickets, it'll be fun, it'll be nice to get away and, and enjoy something, and I'm so grateful that we did. They shared the day with Kyle's roommate Dewey. Got inside early to take it all in. Down on the field, kicker Julian Roush was getting ready to play in the largest stadium he'd ever played in. But Coach Jerry Moore put things in perspective. Everybody's just looking around, doing them all, and the coach is like, guys, look around. All it is is more concrete. Michigan scored first. David felt the passion of Wolverine fans, especially one, right away. He turns around and he looks at me and he says, all day long. And he said it just like that. And I just said, yeah, probably so. That's, that's fine. Then he smiles and he turns back around. And, well, I'll never forget that. The Mountaineers were not intimidated. I can remember a couple of the offensive linemen, the very first series, which I don't think was a successful first series, but they came off the field with more confidence than before they went on to. Their confidence coming off the field, I think, just got contagious. App State struck back in a big way. Touchdown! Edwards on the QB draw from six yards out. The Mountaineers have opened up a two possession lead over the maize and blue. That dive when he's just pancaked out going across the line. I mean, those are special moments. Those are images that you can remember 15 years later. App State led 28 to 17 at the half, but Michigan came back strong and took the lead 32-31 with less than five minutes to go. That set up the two moments we still talk about today. Julian was called on to attempt the game-winning field goal with less than a minute to go. They just kept making plays and making plays and getting closer and closer. And I was like, man, it's gonna get easy and either. And then it almost got so close, it became a harder kick. We weren't straight ahead. It was a little bit of an angle. And so there was that nervousness of like, and this is a big deal, this is a big game. Just like every day. Good snap, hold by Hunter Stewart. The kick is on its way, and it is through the uprights. Through the uprights, the Mountaineers have retaken the lead with 26 seconds to play. It's relief. I mean, it truly is, because you know so much is riding on that one second of a kick. Mountaineers were up 34-32, but Michigan still had fight. They set up for their own attempt at a game-winning field goal. I really take my prayer life seriously, and so I don't pray about sporting events. But I do remember, <laughs> right before Michigan was going to kick the field goal, I just sort of closed my eyes and I thanked God for this wonderful day I'd had with Kyle and with Dewey, Kyle's roommate, and I remember saying something to the Lord like, but you know, if, if you really want to make this good, and this has been a rough week, if this could just somehow or other end up where we win, that'd be cool. The excitement of what happened next is the most famous play from that game. A block kick to preserve the win. This is it right here. It snaps good. The whole block! Kicks. Oh! The Mountaineers of Appalachian State have just beaten the Michigan Wolverines in the big house. The silence was deafening. You've got 109,000 people. I don't know how many of them were Appalachian fans, but it was a minuscule amount. 
and nobody was saying a word, and they were looking at the scoreboard. Everybody's just jumping up and down, going crazy excited. We had won big games before, we won championships, but there was just a sense of something that has been done that's never been done before. David still has his game ticket and a Michigan Cup to remember that day. Julian has the game ball that he used for the kick heard around the world. App State would win their third straight national championship later that year. The upset of a lifetime memorialized on their championship rings. Just a few reminders from an amazing day. That day, all the different backgrounds, all the different players, roles came together perfectly for something that was truly drastically special. I still get chills thinking about it because it's such an incredible moment. To be there with my son, you know, it was it was great. It's one of the, the best memories I have of my, my life. So good. I mean, and you know, I'm like, eh, college football. I love that story so much. I love so everything good. about it. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the shirt that David was wearing in the interview is the very same shirt he was wearing at the game. Of course it is. Of course it is. Because he has a ticket and he has all the other things and the memories and David Just is. that part about the prayer made me fall out of my chair when I, I saw it the first him. time. Yeah. I just was like, David, you are the best. He's so, I love that he started with gratitude. Like he was just thankful for the day, right? Like let's just celebrate that, you know, but it's always awesome. There's the cherry on top, right? That was so good. Look, we we all know David so well, and we know how much family means to him. Mm. So we know when he says, like, that was the greatest, one of the greatest days of his life, being able to share that with his son. He really, really means that. Mm. But to also hear from the kicker, I mean, I just love everything about that story. So good. And that game, yeah, producer Heidi goes, me too. Yeah, the you App know? State grad. Yes. Um, and that really paved the way. I mean, App is so good in, in football now, but that was like a launching for them uh, in all of what we've seen since then uh, on the field for football seasons. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what they're going to do this season. So. Yeah. So <laughs> I just said, me too, again. Brian, thank you for that story. That was great. And David uh, and Kyle, thanks for sitting down and talking with us as well. And all the folks that came together to make that story. That was awesome.